friends and students, staff and families. Today is Wednesday, March 10th, and today is the 130th day of school. Today is National Mario Day. The video game Mario started 38 years ago and has been a fan favorite. I loved playing Mario, I think starting in fourth grade, uh, the old Nintendo. <laughs> The weather today will be sunny with a high of 69 degrees. And now let's check in on our high B days. We create Wednesdays and wonder Wednesdays. Wow, that was a lot of W's. Can't believe today's Easter. We get to get some candy from the Easter Bunny. What do you mean today's Easter? Today is not Easter. Wait, what? Oh, I know what today's. Well, today is. It's St. Patty's Day. <laughs> it's not either St. Patty's Day or Easter. Today is. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean today is not St. Patty's Day or Easter? Okay, just let me finish my sentence. So, today is somebody's birthday. Today is somebody's birthday? <gasps> First of all, I want to know who. Second of all, I was way off. Okay, okay, okay. Well, today is Antonio B. and fifth grade's birthday and Mr. Arms' birthday. Cool. Let's sing him happy birthday. I agree. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Antonio. And Mr. Arns, happy birthday to you. Hello, Claxton artists. It's Mrs. Olson, and I'm back this week with another Artful Mindfulness activity. Wow, has this been an exciting week. We are back in the building with our kindergarten, first and second graders as we have begun to teach in person again. Now, along with all that excitement, we might need to be paying a little bit more attention to our bodies and how we are handling all that excitement. So this week's mindfulness activity is a mindful movement muscle relaxation technique. Now, this activity is inspired by the artwork of Bridget Riley. Bridget Riley often uses lines in her artwork. The particular artwork that I'm showing you for this activity is one where we can see the lines coming together and going apart and coming together and going apart. So it's a very similar to this tensing and relaxing activity that we're gonna do with our muscles. You will move through the different muscle groups in your body from the tips of your toes all the way to the top of your head, and you'll focus on each of those muscle groups, squeezing and contracting the muscles, tensing them up, and then slowly relaxing and opening them back up again. Kind of like how the artwork comes together and goes apart and comes together. So you're gonna use the artwork like a map. So let's just practice this activity together. I'm gonna to be working with my feet. You're not gonna see them on the screen, but I'm gonna talk through what I'm doing with those muscle groups as I look at the artwork as a map. You can do this anywhere in the classroom, before you come to school, before you leave school. So. Let's get ready to try it out together. So get yourself in a seated, comfortable position. Have your feet flat on the floor. You're sitting up straight and tall. And what you're going to do, follow along with me and I will guide you. So you're gonna start with your feet open and relaxed, the muscles in your feet anyway. And then you're gonna to start to squeeze them together, pull them together, tense them up, the muscles in your feet, squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. Now I'm noticing that the lines open up a little bit. So I'm gonna slowly start to open up and relax those muscles. And then, uh-oh, they're starting to squeeze. So I'm gonna squeeze those muscles together like these lines are coming together. And then I'm going to slowly start to open them up and relax. So then I might move into the muscles in my legs, then maybe into my hips and my torsos, then, or my torso, then maybe the muscles in my arms, my shoulder and my neck, and then I can even do this with my face muscles. So use those muscle groups as you tense and relax them, and that will help you as you adjust to return to learn.
Hey Claxton leaders, welcome to Wonder Wednesday. This week we have some students who are going to share some questions that they've asked and some research that they've done. Hi, my name is Quinn. I am in first grade Miss Gary's class and my wonder is how was the first species of animals made? Hi, my name is Jaden and I'm in second grade. My teacher is Miss Sakata and my wonder is how is indirectors invented? My name is Willa Sparks and I'm in first grade with Miss Barra teacher and, and my wonder is um well my wonder was how did anyone know dinosaurs were real? Cut um because no one actually got a picture and I couldn't really, I didn't know where to find anything. So I just got this star chasing stuff. I wrote some things down and, and I have this star stuff I traced. This is Eden. I'm in third grade. My wonder was who's the first person to use light bulbs. I did not find my answer, but I did um, learn that Lewis Latimer was, um, um, helped invent the light bulb, and um, when he was young, he worked as a paper boy. My name is Dash. I'm in third grade. My teacher is Miss McCarthy, and my wonder is, did Malian Irvin make it to the top of Mount Everest? Um, I am Alexander. Um, I am in first grade in the Cubes class, and my wonder is, how could monkeys transform into humans without dying? Hi, my name is Vinny, and and I'm in first grade, and my teacher is Miss Stanley, and my name is Vinny, and my and my wonder was how were pterodactyls invented? I mean, how did pterodactyls get wings? Maggie, and I'm in fifth grade, and my homeroom teacher is Miss Hillier. I wonder what are medically induced comas? Medically induced comas are exactly what they sound like. They're comas that are medically induced, which means they're basically like used for medical things. Most often they're put in with people who have brain injuries because like if your knee gets hurt, it has room to swell, but your brain doesn't have that room. So when it get when it gets hurt, um, it swells and then blood and then the blood vessels can get squished, meaning um, blood and oxygen can't circulate through your brain. So but when you're in a coma, um, you, your brain doesn't need as much oxygen, so it has room to swell and it's not dangerous. This is my daughter Zola. Zola, go ahead and share your wonder. I, I wonder how the first thing was made. My wonder was how, who invented the computer? And I learned that the first computer that was considered a computer, it was an electronic, was invented by Charles Babbage. This is going to be our last Wonder Wednesday for right now. But we hope that all of you will continue the work that you've done with inquiry, with asking questions, and with doing research. You can find those research resources on our Return to Learn website, on the Claxton website, and you can find the NC Wise Owl button in your class link. So you can go right to a resource. I hope that you enjoy continuing to ask questions and to wonder about the world. We are excited to continue learning with you. See you next time. All right, here are some jokes with a Mario theme. Where does Mario do his food shopping? At the Mario Mart. Yeah, that's a good one. What did the green mushroom say to Luigi? Get a life. <laughs> How did the Mario Brothers surf the internet? with a web browser. Okay. <laughs> Golden tickets, are you ready? Ms. Paxton has one for Grace and G for always being ready to read, engaged in discussions, and listening to his friends. Well done, Grace and G. Ms. Kickard has a golden ticket for Elena, Ariana, Brenda, Adelaide, Emily, Walker, Calla, and Knowledge for rocking their first day of in-person learning. They were attentive, responsible, thoughtful, and safe. Way to go. 
We have a golden ticket for Logan N, who works so hard to control his body, focus his eyes, and turn his listening ears up. Great job in Foundation Small Group, Logan. Miss Kohler has golden tickets for Alasia M for working hard to decode a sentence during morning meeting. Way to go, Alasia. Logan J for encouraging me to be kind to myself. That's great, Logan. All right, clacks and leaders, I hope you have a wild Wednesday and go learn something new. Now it's time for the clacks and pledge. At Claxton Elementary, I am a leader. I pledge to live the habits, value the arts, and celebrate our highest diversity. I work hard to learn new things and always give my best effort. I show respect to others and choose to be a leader in my community. I am attentive, responsible, thoughtful, and safe. I am a proud and dependable Claxton Bee, even when no one's watching me. Remember, you and your family can send in jokes and golden tickets and shout outs to our email account and we'll include them in the announcements as soon as we can. The email account that you should email these to is clxannouncements at acsgmail.net. You can also submit to the CLX announcements by filling out the Google form on our remote learning website.